Coast Adapt has worked with two coastal communities on the south shore of Iceland, Aupor and Vík in Myrdal. There the coast lies open to the North Atlantic Ocean and has very few harbors. Farmland, roads and villages are under constant threat of floods and coastal erosion. Coastal floods are not the only natural threat in this area, which has been hit by two severe earthquakes and volcanic eruptions in recent years. These events make the community hazard aware and open to discussions and planning on how to avoid, prepare and react to natural hazards. Selfos is the main population center in Aurborg with about 6,500 inhabitants. It serves as the main center of commerce and services in southern Iceland, with shops, schools, public services and small industries. The town is divided by the glacial river Ulvusa. The average flow of the river is around 420 cubic meters per second, but reflects weather conditions and fluctuates with temperature and precipitation. The river banks have repeatedly been flooded, and Selfoss may expect more frequent and severe floods when climate change speeds up glacial melting in the years to come. The river mouth opens into a wide delta a few miles downstream from Selfoss. Rising sea levels may affect the outflow of the river into the sea, causing the delta to spread wider and further inland. The extensive wetlands on the riverbanks act as a buffer zone when the river floods. In spite of extensive historical records of severe floods in this very region, the land is being developed as building grounds for semi-rural homes, an attractive option for those who like to live in the countryside and commute to the capital Reykjavik. However, questions about safety and insurance issues arise when building contractors are allowed to change floodplains into building grounds. The small villages Eirabaki and Stokseri, located right on the coast, have experienced severe storm floods in recent years, causing considerable material damage to their property. Consequently, extensive dikes have been built along the shore for protection. Coast Adapt investigated how people react to living under the threat of natural disasters and how they perceive the concept of community resilience. These villages used to house small shops and services, and even some fisheries with a local harbor and fish processing factory. Now, many of the houses have been renovated as summer houses, and the local economy is almost limited to catering for tourists. The harbors are no longer in use, the fish factory has been turned into a ghost museum. There is no local store anymore, other than the little petrol station. People drive the few miles to Selfos to do their shopping. The study shows that people perceive the key elements in community resilience to be the local infrastructure, such as the local shop, employment, and access to places to gather informally. This is where people meet and bond. The bonding is essential, and as the infrastructure erodes, the community loses its resilience, with increasing danger of giving up and moving away when faced with adverse natural conditions such as floods, severe storms, or earthquakes. Further east along the coast, the community Vík, with about 300 inhabitants, lies on a narrow rim of lowland wedged between the mountain and the sea. One of Iceland's largest and most active volcanoes, Katla, looms over the village. While past eruptions have caused major glacial floods, these have not threatened the village itself, and the eruptions have, in a way, acted as a blessing, as the volcanic tephra and ash have extended the land as well as providing underwater banks of sediments off the coast that have temporarily protected the shore. However, the ocean steadily erodes these sediments and the coastline is ever-changing. Since 1971, the coastline has eroded at a rate of 8 to 10 meters per year and now approaches the local soccer field rapidly. 
Therefore, emphasis is placed on protecting the coast by recharging the beach, and most recently by building a protective wall to help delay the coastal erosion in Vik. Vik is an excellent example of a community forced to live with a constantly changing nature, a community that has to take appropriate measures to reduce the threats and learn to live with what cannot be changed. <laughs>